All right, continuing on the uh, ambulance to RV conversion, um, I have just now started to get ready to install the rooftop air conditioning, typical rooftop air conditioning. One thing, if you do uh, ambulance to RV or any kind of conversion, you'll find out that the uh, passenger compartment of an ambulance is composed of a aluminum frame to survive a rollover accident. Initially, I thought it was steel, but after cutting into it, I realized it is 2x2x8 two by two by inch uh, aluminum tubing, square tubing, and it's all, all uh, reinforced across the top by an aluminum channel. It's probably about 8 inches wide, uh, inch and a half deep. So I've got my first section cut out because, as you know, for a rooftop RV air conditioning, you require at least a 14, about a 14 and a quarter inch square opening. And I had to cut out at least one member because, like I said, they were spaced on 12 inch centers. So that section is cut out. So I'm preparing to figure out what cables I need to move or remove. Which is where I come to now. The uh, ambulance has an electronic panel right here, which is composed of everything for the, the strobe, the sirens, the flashers, and everything like that. So I tried disconnecting the main power to this panel to see what worked, what didn't. The, the truck starts, the blinkers work, it's basically a truck without this panel in there. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and completely remove that panel. That'll be a place for me to put my inverter. There's a chase behind there for all the wiring that's run through and it runs up up into the ceiling and then there's kind of a center chase that runs down that channel all the way back. There's panels to access it all the way across. So that's going to be my next project, is kind of tearing into that, see if I can run my wires for my air conditioning and everything like that up behind that panel. Once I disconnect that panel, we'll no longer have sirens, flashy red lights, things I don't think we're supposed to have anyway. So anyway, keep touch, keep in tune, we'll uh, see where this project goes. Alright, this is Jim with the uh, continuing <laughs> remodeling of our ambulance to a RV conversion. Um, here I'm showing a backup camera I installed just the other day. And I run the CCTV cable through with the thing I like about the ambulance is it has these panels that remove from the ceiling. So I've been able to run the cable through the ceiling. And there you can see some of the uh, two by two aluminum framing members. There is space above that. There's a channel above that that you can run the cabling. Um, this particular ambulance has a lot of spray foam up there. So in some cases you have to dig through the spray foam to get your cable ran, but I do have the cable now successfully ran all the way from the rear view camera through this massive chase that has oxygen tubing. All it's, this is like a central nervous system of the ambulance. And in the last little video, I was discussing how I was about to remove the electronic module unit that really makes the ambulance there, there, try to keep it steady. Um, that makes the ambulance an ambulance, controls the sirens, the flashing lights, all that all that fun stuff. It's now removed, so it is no longer an ambulance, and I've been trying to figure out how to uh, figure out how which wires go to what, and that's been an interesting prospect. But at any rate, the uh, backup camera I do have successfully ran through the ceiling, down through the wall, into this chase in the back of the unit there and it actually runs from there under the floor mat and is now up into the dash which you can see I've also disassembled. So my next project at this point in time is going to be uh, getting the dash put back together while I had it this far uninstalled I decided to go ahead and put in a, a CD, new CD player so I've got that that I'm getting ready to install got the rear view camera uh, monitor that I'll stall on the dash. Um, and just step back to this wiring for a minute. I've been using a 12 volt DC power supply to figure out which wires go to what as far as lighting back here in the ambulance compartment goes. So I've been, <laughs> been, I've been testing those wires, labeling them as I go, and as you can see here, lights off. This is an example. I found the wire that makes these lights turn on. 
And I've found out the wires that make other lights turn on on the outside of the unit as well. So um, once we get our, our uh, converter installed and all that, what we're going to end up doing, this is kind of a main switch panel back here. Well, I'm probably just going to disengage all of that. It's a very complicated mess of wiring that seems to work on relays. So I'm probably just going to install a typical switch unit to control the lighting from in here. So at any rate, I'm going to work today on putting the dash back together, getting the stereo installed, getting the video monitor installed, and I'll, we'll see how it goes. Keep in touch.